so welcome back into Astroboden. Yes, where I left you guys off last time, uh, I had just injected my hub motors with barrel fluid, yeah, liquid iron. Oh, and it was going to be amazing. I had grand plans for it. Yeah, it was going to be the Arsatera thing. Yeah, I was going to be able to run my motors red hot without actually running them red hot. Yeah. So <clears throat> I was going to make temperature graphs and everything to see how it was going to be super scientific. Yeah, trust me. But um, yeah, after just a few days, <clears throat> uh, it was tracking really nicely. Yeah, I had it inside in the garage here with a laser dot because it was shit weather outside. Hot patrol. But <clears throat> yeah, it was tracking really smooth and nice. I thought this was this was the answer to everything. Yeah, it's all going to be different. Uh, but um, <clears throat> yeah, then I noticed that when I turned the power off, uh, the right ascension axis was super sticky. Yeah, it was like um, yeah, really damp motion. If I poked it it would move I mean naturally but um, it would stop as soon as I let go it would stop yeah I could change the balancing and it wouldn't budge yeah until it was really crazy <clears throat> so that was off and um, I did illustrate all this in a video of course but um, somewhere in the vastness of cloud backup space it's all gone I couldn't find it for the life of me so and I tried so <clears throat> we're just gonna move on with our lives here Take a look at what it looked like inside, yeah, and then you'll trust me that it was a bit sticky. Mm. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Okay, so here we have the motor open. We can clearly see where the ferro fluid is, or has been. Um, it's up. It's a sticky mess. Yeah, that's basically like gluing the um, stager with the uh, with the rotor. Yeah, so that is absolutely rubbish. We have to clean all that off. We can see that. You have it all over in here. So it's well distributed. Yeah. <coughs> Yes, so stator rotors going stator is going out with the coils and they're gonna get cleaned separately with some well some uh, isopropanol or contact cleaning, degreasing some compressed air. Yep, that's it. Okay. So you can see the stator here again. This is also some light lithium grease I squared in here just to try to get some things to move somewhat. Yeah, here we got the rotor, or stator, stator sorry. Yeah, yeah, that is just... Yeah, so it's going to be cleaning fluid, a rag, maybe some compressed air on there. So that's the rotor cleaned off, roughly. Might be a little spot there. I don't think I will ever be able to get all of it out. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of shine behind the magnets, and I hope, suppose, that's not going to be too much damage since it's stuck behind the magnets, unless it gets sucked up between the magnets <coughs> and the uh, coils when they're magnetized. But anyway, it's going to be so little, and I hope it's not going to be any any harm. So now I'm just going to get onto that piece. Yeah. That's not as smooth as this, so let's see how that goes. Okay, so that's it. Nice and clean, pretty much. So, some contact cleaner, a rag, um, with a magnet inside. That was a trick, at least on the stator. And this one, it was, uh, well, didn't, yeah, I didn't even try it. You have the magnets there, I don't want to pull them off, or it's just, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, on the stator. Awesome. So, yeah. Uh, we're just going to go and crack on and open up the, the other one as well, yeah? Okay, so this ferrofluid looks a lot better. Collected nice and shiny between the magnets. And I guess this is what it's supposed to look like. Like iron filings on a magnet. <clears throat> They're forming like spikes. We're going to make a close-up close of this later on. And then you have the nice shiny ferrofluid. Between the magnets, yeah. <clears throat> now this is what it's supposed to be looking like. Not that um, 
tarry stuff but if I ever and if I'm running it like this it'll be fine yeah because there's very low uh, heat on this but if I ever get tempted to heat to increase the duty cycle and get it hotter then this will cook the same so <clears throat> yeah yeah I'll, I'll just have to clean this off now when I have it open yes. so active cooling it is if you want to run it hotter all right so that's them clean pretty much yeah that's from before I think that's heat damage to the uh, or whatever glue they have in there and the stator got very easy to clean with a magnet and some some degreasing stuff so that is shiny we'll stick it back together okay so here they are the motors have cleaned put back together again got all the mess there on the rags so a bit of electrical contact cleaner and some a little bit of isopropanol but mostly contact cleaner to get all that out so rags with a magnet yep that did the trick um at least on the magnetic stuff so yeah <clears throat> we're gonna give this a long serious thought here uh, if we can improve on this in any way yeah we've got our stuff there the mounts yeah got the motors right there here we have the whole uh, uh, rest of the assembly so can we improve on this in any way shape or form yeah to make this perfect yeah let's put it back together yeah